Hello, everyone. I'm, I'm Lai Zhang San. I'm from Ant Group, uh, focusing on uh, lightweight kernels and secure containers. Uh, today, I will talk about uh, an IST problem and a possible pro uh, solution. Uh, the, the agenda includes four parts. The, um, the problem, the motivations, and an atomic um, approach, and, and a breeding issue with it. it. Mm. The, uh, the, the 64-bit uh, x86 uh, design are constant bin. Uh, many kernel develop, uh, developers complained about it. Uh, the, the problem of IST uh, are actually from uh, syscall gap. If there were no syscall gap, there were no events uh, requiring IST is just except for the double fault. Hardware solution uh, should uh, uh, fix the uh, such call gap, uh, gap uh, uh, like thread. Uh, software solution have no choice. Um, it has to, uh, it has to use uh, atomic waste. Um, uh, here, here is two examples of the current approaches. The MMI approach uh, used two, two stack. The first stack is just 96, 96 bytes. Uh, it used only for hardware entry and I return. The second stack is for software uh, handler. It is uh, 4,000 bytes. The VC approach uh, has larger stacks and it and use C function to copy of the stack, uh, but it has an ugly backlink. Uh, the atomic approach borrow the ideas uh, from these two approach. Mm. Uh, the, the most important motivation is that we have to fix the, uh, the problem. The other uh, motivations include uh, less ASM code, uh, PVM tracer, and ASI. PVM is in production and aims for uh, upstream. The PVM tracer is in, uh, integrated into the host entry code. So we hope the IST, IST entry code can be self-contained. Mm. Uh, the, the key point of the atomic uh, entry is that all of the IST events uh, watch for each other. Uh, 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 if an atomic entry is interrupted, uh, the later one should, uh, should help the previous one complete its, its work. Um, when an atomic entry is interrupted, it will ne never return to the original point. So, uh, so its code must be abortable at all of the place. Um, and its work will be completed by the inner, uh, innermost uh, atomic entry. So, so its code must be uh, replicable and as important. And, uh, here is the example. Uh, let's figure out how to make a uh, abortable, um, abortable, and important, replicable atomic entry. Uh, for an entry, we have to to say to save the contents before handling. The se uh, second, uh, for an atomic entry, we have to copy the uh, the contents and switch to the new uh, new stack. The third, uh, as an uh, uh, abortable uh, entry, we have to. Uh, it should be able to commit all the, uh, the results. And the safe stage have to split into two safe stages because the safe stage is not hardware atomic. Uh, uh, atomic. Uh, we have to handle it differently. The, the two, both the two stages cannot touch any general purpose registers. Uh, the fifth, uh, uh, copy for the almost and copy for the nested are different. Uh, the last, uh, we we have to uh, locate where is the which uh, which is the almost. Uh, this is the place where where this called gap might hide, and uh, we have to uh, locate where are the, where are the contents saved and where to copy from. So we have uh, have a locate uh, locate stage, uh, and and in the in the last line. Uh, the safe stages and the uh, commit states can be implemented in ASM code. Uh, only the 
the stages in uh, in yellow color can be improved in C code. When we compared it with the third light, we uh, we just named uh, named the C code C code uh, named the uh, uh, give it a name as a copy uh, the C function name as a copy. Mm. Here is the two narratives of the atomic energy. Uh, on the left is the uh, is the procedure view. Three inter three IST interrupt uh, 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 one by one. All, all of them try to save and um, save and save and locate and and copy almost for the first in, uh, for for the first events and copy nasty for the second and the third. On the right are the are the data view. It shows the uh, the IST stacks of the of the three events. And, and, and there is a major stacks, and also show how the locate operation works. It, it needs to uh, lo locate where there is the almost uh, places and where the data save and, cop uh, and, and copy to. Um, for copy almost, it find that the exception head is on the, uh, is on the a, a stacks. Uh, but even uh, but the event A is uh, is interrupted so early that uh, it uh, it does not finish in saving the uh, the general purpose. Uh, so so the locate code find that the the general pur purpose registers are safe here. So copy almost uh, copy those uh, those can, uh, contents from here. Uh, for for copy nested uh, be, uh, because we assume that. And uh, uh, atomic, uh, atomic entry uh, assumed that the previous uh, event had had been completed at the commit point. So all the states are known. So we just uh, reset the states. Uh, when the uh, when the when the code uh, finish uh, finish copy all the all the data, you can uh, it return and and use just one single instruction to switch the RSP. And, they, and, and this single instruction commit all the three events entry. Uh, entry. Th uh, this, uh, this is all the atomic entry uh, w uh, works. But, th but there is a problem, as, uh, as Peter G pointed out. Uh, it, although uh, we have stacks, but we cannot do function call or, uh, and return. This is the problem. We have uh, uh, three possible cho uh, choices. Uh, the first choice uh, we have uh, option one, uh, just rewrite the C code uh, with ASM. I think it's not feasible. The, the second two, uh, just eliminate the return instruction. We uh, with some hacks, uh, we make each function called only once and just use the jump uh, jump into the instruction instead called into the uh, instruction. Uh, the, the second choice uh, make the untrained code be uh, be able to use in the entries early stage. Uh, I'm not sure it is possible. Uh, maybe it, it requires splitting the untrained code. Uh, the, the 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 third choice uh, add the add the code in the C function that to. Uh, Mm, uh, to switch to the full kernel contents, uh, this e effectively implement the paranoid entry in C, uh, in C code. The, uh, this is uh, uh, this is uh, um, uh, also in our mission, but but uh, but it has to be implemented in the way that it, uh, it meets the the requirements of a portable and input. Uh, and important re replicable. The, uh, so uh, to, to meet the requirements, uh, the steps are, are split uh, to, to, to these stages. So that's uh, my question, and I, and I need uh, your suggestions. So um, for, first off, um, are you aware of the thread spec? Uh, yeah, uh, and, and the approach try to uh, fits for the problem uh, for the um, for the machine that they have no thread. 
Yeah, okay. So one of the things that came up during the discussion of Fred was the following scenario. And please tell me how you would plan to fix it. First, take an NMI and then take a page fault in it because it was a, uh, a profiling NMI. Then you get a machine check yeah. um, in the middle of the NMI handler and you're towards the end of the machine check handler so you've cleared machine check in progress, uh, which is the, um, is, is the bit in hardware that deals with the re-entrance of M machine checks. Then you get another NMI and then you get another machine check on top of that. You're in a position where both the NMI and the machine check handler have recursed on each other and have clobbered the outermost exception frame. You don't and you get a second N NMI yeah, you can, you've returned from the first one? Because you took a page fault originally in the NMI handler and did an IRET, so you unblocked oh, NMIs. Okay. Um, in, in this position, you have both the innermost machine check and the innermost NMI both on the first on the instruction boundary at the start of their handler, and both of them have to, to uh, copy sideways and, and decide to do that, one for the outer one, uh, without, uh, without being able to spill any general purpose registers. <laughs> the, the uh, it's the, not. <laughs> the atomic entry only watch the atomic part. If the MMI enter is, uh, uh, is handler, it will not watch it. The MMI handler will, uh, the the C MMI handler will watch itself. The all the all the handler of the IST are moved to IST main stack. Oh, the, so the the problem is that until you have pushed the general purpose registers onto the stack, you may have to do that for your outer exception, or otherwise you've lost program state. And that, that, was the, that was the corner case that I, we couldn't figure out any possible way of fixing without Fred. It, it is a narrow corner case, but uh, in, in, in clouds you do it. I, I haven't got the... Yeah, and maybe, <clears throat> I think that is a good point here, is that um, you know, the, this is the older architecture, and hopefully this is code, I mean, we have to update this for a while, but hopefully it's code that we won't care as much about you know, uh, in the coming years. So is this, I, mean, I think the, the, the bigger question is like, should, should we invest this time to refactor this? I mean, if we can find a way, I mean, there, there probably are holes in this, there are holes in the existing one, <laughs> right? Uh, so like, is this, from people who have messed in the entry code? So I was all bored on doing this. So I was entirely in favor of doing all this right until all the mitigation mess happened. <laughs> um, yes, the C stuff is far easier to work with, but it also makes us susceptible to whatever madness the compiler does. The mitigations are so subtle that having everything in assembly, having everything fixed, is both a blessing and a curse. <laughs> maybe, maybe one specific example there is like the problems with RET. Like, had we invested in this, right, um, and we were we were used to having normal C with normal function calls and normal returns, and then all of a sudden we had RET bleed thrown in. Would that how much how much of a problem would it have been to fix? Would it have caused us more problems in the end? I think what Peter's saying is. Um, since we have so much more control over assembly, or let's say, the, let's say the compiler did something in C that made us vulnerable in the future, um, would we end up having, what are the odds we have to go back to assembly? Or do we have to go? So the, the, the thing that happens under C that really messes with the mitigations is the fact that at any arbitrary point in time, the C compiler is allowed to emit a call to memcopy and to mem0, and it can do that as part of setting up the stack frame. It typically doesn't, but it can. Uh, and as a result, uh, you end up with a call and a regular call and a regular ret that is just not visible in the C code. And yes, you might be able to have object tool wander through and guarantee that there are no unexpected calls in your C code, and then, uh, and then that becomes problematic. What happens if you had Ubisan active? Uh, okay, maybe you care about getting Ubisan there and you don't necessarily care about the mitigations, but all of these compound 
to a point at which we just decided it was easier to say we will write this in assembly so the compiler cannot screw it up. Um, uh, maybe we can use a uh, OBJ tool to to check the the result of the. Yeah, the um, it, it's doable, but but it, it's hard because it it depends on the other sanitizers that are on the other options that you. It, it, it's it's not simply a case of of deleting everything. Yeah, so, like I said, I I liked all this. But the mitigations have made it such a mess that I, I don't think this is really worth doing anymore. And, and I mean, all my hopes and dreams are for Fred at the moment um, to restore some sanity to our entry code. Um, and AMD is doing that as well, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, no call. <laughs> Damn. The problem is you need to support the old ones, even with Fred. So it's going to be a... Yeah, I know. I think part of what you're hearing, though, is that well, there's a good pile of people in this room that have hacked on that code. And I think none of us, like, enjoy the assembly. But it is, it is workable for us. And maybe we need the group of people that can mess with it to grow. But I think part of the question is, like, is it, would doing it this way be worth it to let more people hack on it? Or do we, I mean, do we have enough is one question. Like, do we have enough people who can, who can change it? crazy enough to understand everything that needs doing here, you're crazy enough to be able to do it in assembly. <laughs> the, the step is so... <laughs> what he's talking about there is exec NMI. <laughs> when he, one of the examples he had here in the slides was the multi-layer stack that we have in order to, to take NMIs it is nuts. So if anybody wants like uh, some horrible reading, like if you're ever sad on a Saturday, a rainy Saturday afternoon, and you want to feel worse, go look at exec NMI. It's, it's lots of fun. One, one thing, <laughs> this is kind of ironic in a lot of ways, but having code and assembly is to some degree a huge here there be dragons sign. There's a lot, you know, it's really, really easy for someone who doesn't understand the subtleties of, of, the, of particularly fragile code to go in and say, oh, it's in C, I know how this works. And they, and they make a change and, and suddenly, you know, and suddenly something goes very, very wrong. Saying that that's happened in the assembly as well. It's not like oh, uh, it, yeah. it, it, it's not like the review of the stuff that goes in there is perfect either. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you.